Well, we again, as as uh, as always, we are encouraged to see so many faces coming out to the to these events. Um, in the midst of tragedy, uh, there is good that can come come about through these these uh, these events. And it's one of those questions that we sometimes ask, what is God doing? And um, sometimes people look to pastors and persons of that uh, vocation to, to have answers. And quite frankly, we don't have that many answers. Uh, a lot of times we are as puzzled as many of you. Uh, the thing that carries us so often is our faith. Mm -hmm. And we ask the question, what is God doing? And I don't know what God is going to do, but I know that God is doing something. Now we're all here because we want Elena to come home. Yeah. Yeah. And we all have perhaps our own ideas of how that should take place and when that should take place, but quite honestly, none of us know when that is going to be. We have hope. We continue and remain with, to, we, we remain with hope. And we, we gather together at these type of things and we, we pray, we express our hope and we express our faith by coming here. And, and participating in these. And we, this is a prayer vigil. This isn't something that we just gather together just to hold hands and, and whatever. We, we, we come here to pray, to express our hope, to express our faith that, that although we don't know what God is doing, we believe God is doing something. And I was thinking about that and I thought, we don't know the time frame in which God is going to to bring about justice. Well, the thing that we are seeing right now is God is doing something, and He's doing something that maybe we wouldn't be, we wouldn't normally be doing, and that is coming together as a community. We're expressing faith. We're expressing love, compassion. And I want to read a scripture this evening. He says, don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What a person plants, he will harvest. The person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. How many of you have weeds in your yard? How do those weeds? How do those weeds get there? Mm, come on now. <laughs> they they grew from seeds from other weeds. I mean, the the scripture is just laying down a, a fundamental truth of life, a fact of life. You reap what you sow. It says the person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. All he'll have to show for his life is weeds. But the one who plants in response to God, that is trusting God, having faith in God, letting God's Spirit do the growth work in him, harvests a crop of real life, eternal life. So the Scripture admonishes us, so let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued or grow weary in doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a crop, a good crop, if we don't give up or quit. Right, right. Amen. right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith. Today, and for over a month now, we've been expressing faith in God. And, and, and the scripture I just read, it, 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 it tells us something. It gives us a general principle that we reap what we sow. We see it in 
in farming and in uh, gardening and everything. But it, it narrows it down and gets personal. It says, you know, there's this principle, this overall principle in, in life. And then it goes, but let us not grow weary in doing good. You know, there's there someone said that we we should never expect complete justice in this life. Why? Because as human beings, we're all imperfect. We're never going to see perfect justice served in this life. But we should never, we should never stop giving justice. We should never stop doing good. I don't know what God's going to do. But He's doing something. I, I can't tell you that. He is doing something. He's bringing this community together, supporting one another. He's teaching us how to love. And the scripture says that when we put our trust and our hope in God, we learn how to love even more deeply because of the love that He has expressed to us through Jesus Christ. And Brother Kyle has a song that he wants to share with us to prepare our hearts for prayer. But let us put our hope, let us continue to put our hope in God and continue to be expressions of His love and faith Although we may not know if justice, true justice, will truly be served to the full extent, our responsibility, our only responsibility, is to be sure that we act justly ourselves. Amen? Amen. Amen.